electrical engineering versus electronic engineering what is the different indeed they are both different fields they use the same fundamental but they both are different fields so let me tell you electrical engineering electrical engineering is the engineering which is the traditional engineering even you have a bachelor in electrical engineering in last century basically if you have a bachelor of 100 years old in electrical engineering still is relevant still you are valuable I wouldn't say you are not I mean fully valuable you are valuable and then you have to just I mean update your basic list back in 100 years what the hell we are having we are having some kind of DC motor uh, alternating current direct current now electrical engineering have become really mature but it still I mean follow the main mumba jumba of that 100 years old what Nikola Tesla and then Thomas and Edison gave us basically still we are using the same fundamental basically even last 50 years we are using the same uh, basically law of gravity I mean in our electrical engineering modern law basically we are using the same principle same circuit design basically yes our circuit has become more complex our circuit design have become more complex now our capacitor have become very small but capacitor is a capacitor Capac if the capacitor is I mean like uh, this one they were the in back in 100 years this size this the size of capacitor was this as normal now the capacitor I mean become very very small even smaller than a coin basically but they use the same fundamental the design is not the same so electrical if you really I mean if you really want to get some degree that only one time you want to study hard basically if you go with IT or computer science every four and five years you have to up, upgrade yourself basically or you will outdate your degree will become irrelevant so you need some kind of certification basically if you get an electrical engineering for next 100 year basically you would be relevant like the civil engineering degree for next 100 year you can use the same skill or knowledge to get a job and to work on whatever project you want electrical engineering one time study slowly slowly upgrade your skill if you really do not upgrade your skills still you're relevant so now let's talk about electronic engineering what is electronic engineering degree life shall basically electronic engineering have a 20 year life shall basically i will go into detail what is electrical and electro basically electronic engineering degree from last 10 to 20 years is still relevant but it, it is becoming outdated our devices are not the devices who used to use basically the devices are becoming more complex now in electronic engineering there is new technology called nanotechnology nanotechnology is really micro stuff i mean the capacitor is really cannot be seen with bare eyes even the quantum computing is coming basically i mean for if you get an electronic engineering degree next i mean every i will say 10 years your degree will be nearly outdated in electrical engineering my opinion is elect in electronic engineering your degree will be outdated every 10 year in electrical engineering your degree will be outdated around 50 to 100 years that is a major difference so make sure you remember this point so number second is the enjoyment of course electrical engineering is basically electrical engineer do not work on electronic project they work on a big electric electrical company like the like providing the electricity to your local um, i mean state or to the country they they work in a grill they work in a telecommunication i mean department to provide the ele electricity i mean they work on a big massive project they work on the construction side i hate working on construction side they work on construction site, they map all the electricity, they work on creating generators, they work with the civil engineering to create the dam, the motors they are going to use to provide electricity. I mean, they work on massive, massive thing. Basically, like a civil engineering, your degree after 100 years still will be relevant. Same. Basically, they work a big ass project. To be honest with you, you cannot say one man show, it will be a 20 100 man show working on a one project i mean only the credit will go to i mean to all not one like a civil engineering project like who built the airport not a one man can get a credit compared to like who built the ipod who built the iphone the one man said i designed i built it so enough with that now with the electronic engineering basically the electrical engineering most of the time you will be spending your time outside the field i'm not saying a lot of electrical engineering will be disagreeing with me but I have explained with the electrical engineer guy, they will be wake boot, they will be in the mud, they will be in the rain outside on the side, I mean mapping out this wire have to go, this, this dude, blah, blah, blah. Basically, they are working like a civil engineering, but they are working on the electrical, I mean how, how they need to provide the electricity to this old building, how it will be map out, how they are going to build the next damn electricity, I mean it's really big stuff, now electronic engineering. 
electrical engineering most of the time will be just sitting like me i mean on, they will have a mouse on, on some I'm, i mean just making some stupid design on the autocad or whatever they are using basically electronic engineering job in 95 to 90 percent the paper job I mean, just filling a super boring paper some people love some people hey five to ten percent will be i mean working on the stuff building some kind of internet of thing building some kind of i mean small gadget building a uh, designing a mouse basically designing some kind of stupid watch i mean they can really work they can really work in a confined space i mean they really do not have to go out basically they basically electron engineer building or next the building a next iphone building the next iphone basically building some kind of electro engineer is not computer engineer computer engineer specializing in building graphic card building ram building cpu electrical engineer electro electronic engineering can build out that kind of stuff but he need to learn or he need to get a master in computer engineering to do so basically electronic engineer will be building gadgets gadget i mean non computer gadget basically non pc uh, equipment gadget basically like the electronic engineering will not be building ram computer engineering job but the line is becoming blur i mean electronic engineering sometimes work on the project i mean Uh, in a team where computer engineer electron engineer work together but they will be building again i have told you this kind of mouse designing this kind of mouse they are going to learn this kind of mouse within six months so just build some kind of super mouse i mean they will be i mean seeing the ffcc compliance some kind of that it is compliant or they will be doing testing i mean 90% to 95% it, their job is just paper or paper i mean is this mouse is compliant what is the safety what is our disadvantage i mean if this mouse can catch a fire i'm teaching i'm telling you basically they will be doing testing that if this mouse catch a fire i mean how it will burn i mean the burn material will be toxic to the health or not i mean how they can prevent the toxic material to damage our lungs <laughs> i mean that kind of super weird stuff they will be just filling in the paper doing testing and the 5 to 10% they will be designing they will be i mean hands on becoming dirty i mean they will holding a solder and they will sometimes doing the project by themselves that is the most fun part of electronic engineering basically i was in electronic engineering specialized in computer engineering i mean back in 2013 before i was drop out so sad <laughs> basically to be honest with you i know what the hell i'm saying to i really I, 70% basically i was in a four year major in electronic engineering the last year we will have to specialize in electronic or computer engineering so to be honest with you only i completed two year in the third year i drop out i i was having some problem the main problem was that i couldn't pay the tuition fees the tuition fees are freaking expensive basically uh and then and then even i have to work and then i meet a beautiful basically girl in my life which is my wife she's a computer she's doing her computer engineering phd from south korea so basically i left out now i'm in the it major basically i'm doing the bachelor in it i just basically i was a basically i was an engineering major now shift all into a bachelor of science in it isn't that weird so enough with that let's move to back to the story basically electronic engineer design this kind of super mouse so you get up on electrical engineering they work in a big building environment i mean they will be wearing the safety equipment going they will be testing how the electricity wires are routed how what is the major i mean for, for disadvantage of this kind of i mean electricity for example there is a fire happen how the electricity will be burn what is the first response how the dam should i mean generate electricity how the i forgot that name the super big ass there how, how the generator i mean will store the electricity they will design gen, uh, generator i mean they will design the electricity basically for the aircraft basically basically even that is the job for a system engineer system engineering is a different field most of you guys always get confused basically electrical engineer work on big as project he, most of time basically he work outside the site and sometime in the site basically that job really require a lot of man basically to work on one single project electronic engineering are like they work in a team but most of the time one man can design the next mouse the next iphone the next ipod basically they can design and then they basically work on small things which is easy to understand which are much enjoying basically they will do programming electrical engineering they never do programming basically then they never 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 do c program python electronic engineering must know he must be really advanced c programming all the jobs are there for electronic engineer require c programming c programming c programming and the python programming basically 
no one of my friend just graduated from the electronic engineering specialist he said they had uh, taught him working with the raspberry pi basically and and then the adreno board to build some kind of robotic stuff i mean basically that is electronic engineering i to be honest with you you really are cool i mean basically you are thinking that i mean you should go with electrical or electronic you want to become cool go to electronic if you want a really job security and then you really do not want to learn after i mean 10 year 20 years go with electrical if you really want to impress your elders go with electrical if you want to really become a civil servant or want to get a civil civil job in your country go with electrical you want to build some kind of next iphone next uh, gadget next mouse you want to work on small quick project go with electronics you love doing problems go with electronics i hope you get the answer that is it. basically if you ask me electronic is best if you really ask me basically i will make a different video like computer engineering what's say electronic engineering computer engineering I will tell you and, and but there's a really big downside for computer engineering that is nobody is talk, talking about. So subscribe to my channel and they click that video about computer engineering versus electronic uh, engineering. Just leave any comment you have just in the comment box below. If you have any questions, leave it there. It's me Jimmy Agik. Bye bye.